Let's begin with the big breaking news coming in this morning. Former Home Minister of Maharashtra, Anil Deshmukh, has been placed under arrest by the Enforcement Directorate. He was questioned for over 12 hours and then placed under arrest. ED sources claim he was non-cooperative during the investigation and when he was interrogated, in fact, by the agency, he is likely to be produced in court today. The ED is carrying out that high-profile investigation under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in connection with the alleged 100 crore rupees extortion racket. So, of course, at this point, Anil Deshmukh, after being grilled for over 12 hours by the ED, has formally been arrested. Devesh Singh is joining us with more details on this. Devesh, good morning. Trouble there for Anil Deshmukh. He's been arrested. What are ED sources telling us about this move? Uh, well, Akshita, good morning. Uh, Anil Deshmukh, who was uh, who appeared before the enforcement director of uh, yesterday at around uh, noon, uh, he was questioned for over 12 hours. Remember, there were five summons earlier uh, given to Anil Deshmukh, but he failed to appear before ED. Uh, it was only after the High Court rejected this plea uh, regarding protection from the summons being issued by enforcement director asked to appear before ED officials. He uh, himself appeared before ED uh, on Monday. Uh, he was questioned for over 12 hours by the investigating officer and then by the Joint Director Sajjada Kumar of Enforcement Directorate. And later, post midnight, he was placed under arrest. Uh, there are multiple allegations coming to Facebook other than extorting with 100 crore a month with the help of touching Raja uh, Police Inspector from Mumbai Police and ACP uh, Sanya Patel. Other than that, there are allegations of uh, seeking money for transfer and postings of officers from police department and other home department officials. Uh, all these angles are under probe by the enforcement directorate. Following this, there are multiple people who have been questioned uh, earlier by enforcement directorate and Sanjay Palande, who worked as personal secretary for Anil Deshmukh, while Kunan Shinde, who worked as personal assistant for Anil Deshmukh, had already been arrested in the month mm. of June. They were interrogated as they had provided details regarding money laundering being carried out by Anil Deshmukh, his son Rishikesh Deshmukh and two of his close aides uh, from the money that uh, that was extorted by Sachin Wande and other people working for Anil Deshmukh. Okay. All right, Devesh, we'll keep coming across to you through the day for the latest updates on the investigation by the Enforcement Directorate. Big development there in the Maharashtra Hafta Gate investigation as you've got former Home Minister of Maharashtra, Anil Deshmukh, being formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The hunters become the hunted in the Mumbai cruise drug bust case. A vigilance team has grilled NCB Zonal Director Samir Vankere for four hours on Monday over extortion charges that have been levelled against him. This is for the second time that Vankere's statement was recorded in this Aryan Khan drug case, which has become also an extortion case. Uh, an independent witness, Prabhakar Sayal, had claimed that Vankiri demanded 25 crores to let off Aryan Khan in this drug bust case. The probe agency still has not been able to reach out to Prabhakar Sail. Vankiri on his part has already denied any wrongdoing and said that all of these allegations are clearly a bid to hamper the ongoing investigation. Trouble, meanwhile, is mounting for NCB Zonal Director Vankiri. The SC Commission has sought a report from the Maharashtra government that's a scheduled caste commission on Nawab Malik's forged caste certificate allegations that were levelled against Vankhede. Now, the fallout of the drug case in Maharashtra is that the political battle has turned personal, with Nawab Malik now accusing Devendra Fadnavis of running a drug racket in Maharashtra. This comes on a day when the former state home minister Anil Deshmukh appeared before the EED and subsequently has been arrested. Almost seven months after he resigned as Maharashtra home minister, and over four months after he was first summoned by the Enforcement Directorate, NCP leader Anil Deshmukh finally appeared before the central agency on Monday morning. Deshmukh turned up with his lawyer after the Bombay High Court last week rejected his plea to quash the ED's summons. Deshmukh is accused of running a 100 crore rupees extortion racket by former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambir Singh. 
who is also dodging investigation in the matter. मैंने उनको लिखित रूप से बताया कि हमारी जो केस है हाई कोर्ट में हमने दायर की है उसकी सुनवाई चल रही है ईडी ऑफिस में यहाँ पे आया हूँ मेरे ऊपर जो मुंबई के एक्स पुलिस कमिश्नर थे परमवीर सिंह उन्होंने जो आरोप किए वो परमवीर सिंह आज कहाँ हैं Deshmukh's questioning by the ED is just one episode in what is turning out to be a series of face-offs between the Maharashtra Vikas Aghadi government and the center. Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik has now trained guns on BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis, accusing him of patronizing drug racket during his tenure as chief minister. Sarvajanik Jeevan Me कौन किसके साथ तस्वीरें खींच लेता है हमें पता नहीं तस्वीर तो ऐसी है कि एक दूसरे को तुम शैतान हो तुम शैतान हो इस तरह की तस्वीर है देवेंद्र जी के जयदीप राणा के रिश्ते बहुत घनिष्ठ थे अब उन्होंने एक फुलझड़ी जलाई है तो बम तो फूटेगा और दिवाली के बाद फूटेगा और दिवाली के बाद नवाब मलिक इनके अंडर के साथ क्या संबंध है इसके सबूत मैं आपको भी दूंगा और राष्ट्रवादी कांग्रेस पार्टी के जो अध्यक्ष है श्री शरद पवार जी इनको भी मैं वो सबूत दूंगा मीन वाइल एन सी बी ऑफिसर समीर वांगखेड़े हु हैज बीन अक्यूज बाय मलिक ऑफ फॉर्जिंग कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट टू गेट द आई आर एस जॉब अपियर बिफोर द शेड्यूल कास्ट कमीशन इन डेली तो उन्होंने दस्तावेज दिए हैं उसने अपनी शादी के भी दिए हैं उन्होंने अपनी जॉब के भी दिए हैं उन्होंने बाकी आगे की नेक्स्ट मैरिज के भी सेकंड मैरिज के भी दिए हैं उन सभी तथ्यों को हमने अपने अधिकारियों को कहा है कि ये महाराष्ट्र सरकार से बैठ के उनका सत्यापन करना उनका उनको देखना जरूरी है अगर वो सत्य हैं तो भी किसी भी उस आधार पर समीर वनखेड़े पर कोई भी कार्रवाई नहीं कर सकती Ever since the Mahavikas Aghadi government came to power in Maharashtra, the center and state have locked horns over several issues, from Sushant Singh Rajput to Sachin Vaze to Samir Van Khede. The list is endless and doesn't seem to be ending very soon. With camera person Raju Namdar, Kamlesh Sutar in Mumbai for India Today. Let's move on to some other political stories that we're tracking this morning. The infighting in the Punjab Congress seems far from over. You've now got Punjab Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu while addressing the people of the Aurora Hindu community in Chandigarh, taking a jibe at Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chandni. Sidhu said that the state of Punjab is under huge debt of 5 lakh crore rupees, adding that false promises made to people will not help. The Congress leader also said that buildings have been mortgaged due to non-payment because Punjab's coffers are completely empty. Sidhu also said that if the Punjab Treasury had money, the state's teachers would have been paid their salaries as well. Sidhu didn't stop at that. He accused the Congress of not doing anything for four and a half years and blamed Channi for giving lollipops to the citizens of Punjab. <laughs> Mamta Banerjee has trained her guns at the Congress in another blistering attack. The West Bengal Chief Minister said that Congress is hand in glove with the BJP and that the party cannot be trusted anymore. Mamta accused Congress of making a compromise with the BJP at the center of putting up no opposition against the latter on various national issues in the last seven years. The Chief Minister also blamed the Congress for forming an alliance with arch-rival CPM in West Bengal, adding that Congress has done nothing to fight against the Modi government, and so the TMC had to go to other states. Congress MP Adiran Chaudhary slammed Mamta Banerjee and TMC leaders, calling them political traitors. He said that the TMC was in fact born out of the Congress. Muhammad Ali Jinnah has now infiltrated the battle for Uttar Pradesh. Samajwadi Party's Akhilesh Yadav has triggered a massive controversy by comparing the founder of Pakistan to Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Patel. The BJP is claiming that Akhilesh's statement is clearly aimed at Muslim appeasement before the elections. Even UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has come out to demand an apology now from Akhilesh. Sardar Patel, Rashmita Mahatma Gandhi, Jamala Nehru, 
जिन्ना एक ही संस्था में पढ़ करके बैरिस्टर बन करके आए उन्होंने आजादी दिलाई After Appa Jan and Bhai Jan, it's Jinnah who's made an entry into the UP Assembly polls. The founder of Pakistan is at the center of a full-scale dogfight between BJP and Samajwadi Party. Thanks to this showering of praise on the man who's seen as the architect of India's partition by Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav. उन्होंने आजादी दिलाई Akhilesh sparked a massive controversy after he compared Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, Jawaharlal Nehru to Muhammad Ali Jinnah, crediting him for fighting for India. Sardar Patel ji, Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Jinnah ek hi sansha mein pad kar gaye barista ban kar ke aaye. Unhone aazadi dilayi. Unhe kisi bhi tarike se kisi ka bhi संघर्ष करना पड़ा होगा तो वो पीछे नहीं हटे एक विचारधारा जिसपे पाबंदी लगाई अगर किसी ने पाबंदी लगाई थी तो लोग और सदा पड़े जी ने उस विचारधारा पे पाबंदी लगाने की काम किया उत्तर प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ लैश आउट एट अखिलेश फॉर कंपेयरिंग इंडिया बिगेस्ट यूनिफायर पटेल विद डिवाइडर जिन्ना कॉलिंग इट प्रूफ ऑफ अखिलेश तालिबान मेंटेलिटी कुछ लोग ऐसे है जो अपनी विभाजनकारी मानसिकता से अभी भी बाज नहीं आ रहे हैं और समाजवादी पार्टी के अध्यक्ष ने कल दिया हुआ अपना वक्तव्य इसी बात को प्रदर्शित करता है उनको देश की जनता से माफी मांगनी चाहिए अपने स्क्रिप्ट के लिए जिन्ना को महिमा मंडन के लिए उनको देश की जनता से माफी मांगी यूपी डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर केशव प्रसाद मौर्य ऑल द एस चीफ अखिलेश अली जिन्ना अखिलेश यादव जी को अगर श्री अखिलेश अली जिन्ना कहा जाए तो कोई अंतर नहीं होगा उन्होंने न केवल मोहम्मद अली जिन्ना का नाम लेकर के देश के विभाजन के समय जो करोड़ों की संख्या में लोगों को आज बलिदान हुआ है उनके बलिदान का नादर किया है बल्कि तुष्टिकरण की घटिया राजनीति के कारण से भारत रत्न लह पुरुष सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल का भी अपमान किया है Akhilesh faced massive backlash from the NDA who calls his Jinnah remark a big insult to Sardar Patel. Ye samajwadi nahi hai. Ye Jinnahwadi soch hai aur is soch se pure desh ke logon ko bachna hoga aur unhe pure desh se maafi mangna chahiye ki desh ke mahapurushon ko apmaan kiya hai. Muhammad Ali Jinnah ji ke desh vibhajan ke doshi mane jate hain. Unka Gandhi ji aur Patel ke sath ullekh karna uchit nahi. अगर वो इस तरह की बात करके समझ रहे हैं कि कोई तबका या कोई हिस्सा या कोई वोटर इससे खुश होगा वो तो गलती कर रहे हैं उनको अपने एडवाइजर्स को चेंज करना चाहिए या खुद को उनको पढ़ना भी चाहिए इस जिन्नाज एंट्री टू यू पी पोल कैंपेन एंड इंडिकेटर ऑफ अखिलेश बिड टू कंसोलिडेट मुस्लिम वोट विल इट हेल्प समाजवादी पार्टी और विल इट बैक फायर With Abhishek Mishra and Samarth Srivastav, Bureau Report, India Today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed uh, the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, where he spoke about five Amrit Tatwa, or the five crucial elements to deal with the challenge of climate change. He said that India will attain non-fossil energy capacity till 500 gigawatt by 2030, and that India will fulfil 50% of its energy requirements through renewable energy by the year 2030. India is the last of the world's major carbon polluters to announce a net zero target, with China saying uh, it would reach that goal in 2060. And the US and the EU, that's the European Union, aiming for 2050. Prime Minister Modi said that India will attain that goal by 2070. Finally, the Prime Minister asserted that India will reduce carbon emission by 1 billion ton by 2030 and that the carbon intensity will be reduced 45% in the next nine years. Prime Minister Modi, who arrived in Glasgow on early Monday morning, was received by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The three leaders had also attended the G20 summit in Italy, which concluded on Sunday. Samgachadvam, Samadvatvam, Sambo Manasi Janata. Aji Kiswi Sadi Be, Ye Mantra, 
और ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण हो गया है प्रासंगिक हो गया है समगच्छ दम यानी सभी साथ मिलकर चले संबद्धम यानी सभी मिलजुल कर आपस में संवाद करें और सम्भो मनान से जानता यानी सभी के मन भी आपस में मिले रहे इंडिया एंटर द टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप इस टूर्नामेंट फेवरेट नाउ आफ्टर टू लॉसेज इन टू गेम्स they virtually out of the tournament what's made matters worse is the manner in which the indian team lost to new zealand the batsmen seemed bogged down clearly by pressure the bowlers were listless and ineffective the question now is where does the indian white ball team go from here morale bruised confidence shattered and hopes up in smoke Team India is in a trough so deep that it will take quite an effort to get them out of it. If one thought that the loss to Pakistan was just an aberration, Virat Kohli and his men in blue have proved everyone wrong. Strategically and technically on both fronts they were found wanting with the team bereft of ideas and confidence. Quite bizarre I mean I I thought uh, we were to be very honest very brutal up front I I don't think we were brave enough um, with the bat or ball I mean with the ball obviously we didn't have much to play with but um, we were just not brave enough in our body language when we entered the field and and New Zealand had better intensity better body language and they created pressure on us from from the first yeah. over onwards uh, uh, really and and continued that through the innings and every time we felt like we want to take a chance we lost a wicket A loss to Pakistan led India to make changes in the 11 and that one change forced them to overhaul the entire top order. India's regular opener in all three formats Rohit Sharma was pushed to the number 3 spot. And he completely missed it. Many though believe that it could have been to avoid him from facing Trent Bolt because of his poor record against the left-arm pacers who can bring the ball into the right-hander. Virat's own form hasn't been that great in the last couple of years and his runs no longer guarantee India a victory. Lost to Pakistan the most recent example. India's selection blunders have often cost the team dearly in the past and eyebrows were raised when India left behind Uzi Chahal from the T20 World Cup squad. Beautiful delivery to bowl. The leg spinners are ruling the roost in the UAE during this competition. Leg spinners Wanindu Hasaranga, Rashid Khan, Adam Zampa, Adil Rashid, Ish Sodi and Tabrez Shamsi all proving to be the decisive factors for their respective teams with 36 wickets between the six of them. Unfortunately, the best leg spinner that India has isn't even in the UAE because he is getting ready to play the Sayyid Mushtaq Ali Trophy, the domestic T20 competition in India. Hardik Pandya can't bowl but still makes it to the Indian team. How? In the Pakistan game, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, despite his extended run of poor form with the ball, starts ahead of Shardul Thakur, the leading wicket taker for CSK in the UAE leg. How? Former England captain Michael Vaughan has often come up with some absurd statements in the past, but for a change, he may be right when he says. that this indian team is still stuck in 2010 as far as t20 cricket is concerned jaspreet bumrah pointed out that the players are mentally fatigued because of the non stop cricket in bio bubbles for the last 6 months but they did get a decent enough break with their families after the indian leg of the ipl was suspended They earned themselves a 21 day vacation in the UK after the loss in the World Test Championship final and then during the England tour the players were not in the bio bubble before the Indian team was hit by covid cases. The defeats will surely hurt fans and the team but this still could be a reality check. Just like what happened after India's early exit in the 2007 World Cup. Sports Bureau India today. And that's all we have time for in this edition of Fair Stop. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned to us here on in India today as we continue to get you the latest news and updates and back in just a few minutes.